All right, people, this is Harris Sultan, and thank you for joining us. And I have troubled my good friend, Amin Nababi, who's an Iranian ex-Muslim, obviously an atheist, and a man behind the largest community, online community of atheists called Atheist Republic on Facebook with two and a half million, 2.2 million people, I think might, might, might still be increasing now. So one question that's been bugging me, and that is why are Iranians in such big numbers supporting Israel? Now, I, as an ex-Muslim, as an atheist, I can understand, and obviously I'm in Nawabi, he's an ex-Muslim atheist too, so I don't know what exactly where he, exactly he stands, but I've asked him to come and explain to us, Amin, why am I seeing these hashtags in such big numbers and it's appearing every day where these uh, young Iranians, young and old, they're just supporting, look at this, uh, uh, th 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 they're going with Israel and they're organizing pro-Israel rallies. There's another lady, Iranian lady, I think she's going for it. So, so tell me. What's going on, Armin? Is, is that because, very quickly before you get into it, is that because kind of like a my enemy of my enemy is my friend because Islamic Rubi mm. Republic of Iran, which is oppressing Iranian people? Because I've seen a lot of these people are Masa Amini. Um, uh, I mean, the, these people are you know motivated by their hatred for the Islamic re regime because of Masa Amini, what happened with Masa Amini. Is that because of that or they actually understand the, uh, the argument of uh, the, the pros and cons of the Israeli state. Well, Harris, I know you know better than most people who try to um, pretend that the enemies of Israel are fighting for Palestinian liberation or for improving Palestinian lives or for their freedom or for land or anything or fighting against imperialism or nonsense like that. The enemies of Israel are a deaf cult, and they they want to take Israeli and Jewish lives, not just in in Israel, but also everywhere. But they also want to take Palestinian lives. This is a lot of the people who are out there saying, "I stand with Palestine." They are willing to sacrifice as many Palestinian lives that it takes to fight against Jews or Israel, because that is what they're doing. I stand with Palestine doesn't really mean I stand with Palestine. I stand with Palestine many times means I hate Jews. The oh. Palestinian flag means that I want to destroy Israel. That's what it means. It doesn't actually mean that I care about Palestinian lives. If it was genuine care for Palestinian lives all around the world, they would have we would have seen the same level of care for a lot of other horrible things that are, are happening to Muslims or Arabs. Yemeni Muslims, Syrian Muslims. The world. Yeah. I mean, right now they're uh, kicking out more than like around 2 million Afghans from Pakistan are being kicked out. Basically the same population as uh, Gaza and nobody seems to give a crap about that. They're Muslim, but it's just being done by other Muslims. As long as it's being done by other Muslims, nobody gives a crap. Because if it's Jews who are doing this to Muslim, then we're talking because uh, you hate Jews and this is an opportunity for you to demonstrate that you hate Jews. Um, and that's what the Palestinian flag, unfortunately, re represents. And again, so this is, a, this is a death cult that went to Israel to kill Israelis so that the IDF has no choice but to come and attack Gaza, so you could p make it as difficult as you could possibly make it to get more civilians die in Gaza when you get a response from Israel, because those are the people you're killing as well. You're putting people as many people as possible in far in front of the uh, Israeli the idea of bom uh, bombs and missiles, so that you have maximum casualty in Gaza. As IDF is trying its best to reduce civilian casualty in Gaza, and Hamas is doing its best to maximize civilian death in Gaza. Right? This is obvious. Yeah. This is Anybody who says otherwise doesn't know anything what they're talking about. So this I, is I just want to quickly add to that. Just, just very quickly, I want to add to your point, because it's important that you highlight that point. And IDF is actually trying to minimize it. And that's not because we're getting paid by them, but it's just common sense. It actually makes more sense. The more videos of Palestinian civilians come in, harder it gets for the United States to back Israel and the harder it gets for 
consequently, the harder it gets for Israel to carry to, to carry on their operations. Conversely, the more people, more Palestinian people die, the easier it becomes for Hamas to propagate its narrative, and that is anti-Israel, wiping Israel off the map, etc. That kind of a narrative. That the, the easier and the more popular it becomes because obviously more Muslims get enraged all around the world. And look towards the camera when you're talking to me. Yeah. All right. So I would claim. Let me know if you disagree with this or not. I would claim that the IDF cares more about Palestinian lives more than the vast majority of the people who say I stand with Palestine and have Palestinian flags, I, you know, go around with Palestinian flags. They don't care about Palestinian flags. They're using Palestinian blood as a way to be anti-Jewish. The IDF cares more about Palestinians than Hamas or most the vast majority of the people who say I stand with Palestine. That's my claim. Do you agree with that? I don't think they would they would conscientiously care more about Palestinians, but I think because Israel is a state, is a modern Western state. So in effect, that probably works out to be that way because they do everything that they're supposed to do. They drop leaflets, mm -hmm. they send radio signals, they send text messages, etc. They tell them right. that we're about to bomb this place, so please leave. And they don't leave because Hamas doesn't let them go because, again, as we said, it's in Hamas's favor. So, so in effect, Israel yeah. cares about Palestinian people, maybe for their own interest because they don't want this drama, they don't want these uh, collateral damage and civilian right. videos, that, so America's beating down the neck. Next, the IDF is calling people like they have Arab speaking uh, members in IDF that are calling in Gaza and telling people why they haven't left North yet. And they they speak back and they say they, the Hamas is shooting at us. They don't let us leave. They close the they close down the highways. And Israeli soldiers are in Gaza just yesterday. They were fighting to open the highway, the Salahuddin Highway, mm -hmm. to get the Gazans down the south. And Hamas soldiers were Hamas fighters were shooting at Israeli soldiers to not let them open the road that gets Gazans out of harm's way. It's unbelievable. This is a death cult. They are killing Israelis, and every single Gazan death is also upon Hamas. The murderers of Israelis is Hamas, and the murderer of the the murderer of Gazans in Gaza right now, every single one of those deaths is on Hamas. They are the murderers of people in Gaza dying. So, but here's an interesting thing: they also want to die themselves. So they want to kill Israelis. They want they're killing Palestinians. They're trying to get as many Palestinians killed as well. And they want to die. They want to be murdered. This is a pure death cult. And a lot of people around the world don't seem to understand what motivates these people. And it, it's Islam, it's jihad. Like people are like, oh, they're being oppressed, all oh, imperialism, all oh, liberation of Palestinians. It's none of those things. None of those can explain what's happening, what Hamas does. What explains it is jihad, is the martyrdom. It's a death cult. These people are for death. They keep telling us that they love death more than other people love life more than you love life they tell us they tell us we love death more than you love life and that's what motivates them they want to kill and they will, are willing to die for it they want for the holy to land. die taking for not even for holy land for for islam it's not the holy land is an excuse it's jew hatred it's the jew hatred that has been completely you know jew hatred goes beyond islam but Islam amplifies that to a degree that is you don't see it in other places, right? But here's the thing. Here, th this is an ideology that desires death. Desires death more than life. They, they say it themselves. And they want death for the Jews. And they, they want death for, even for themselves. But the interesting thing is, where do we see... So we have a region. We, have, we are in the Middle East, and we, which is Islamic fundamentalism has, you know, is widespread in this area. And you see the, some of the most radical versions of it in Gaza, unfortunately, which is such a um, tragedy for the Gazan people themselves, unfortunately. Huh. But here's the thing. In that region, in that region, where do you see? You answer me this. Where do you see? If we have a death cult, what is the opposite of a death cult? What, because this is, this is an you can ideological live. battle. Yes. So... No, so here, this is an ideological battle. This is not a military battle. You cannot 
destroy Hamas with bombs and bullets. You can try, you can defend yourself. You have to respond to it with militarily. But you, this is not an enemy that you could defeat by shooting it away. Even if you kill every single Hamas member, that ideology is still there. And for every member of Hamas you're killing, basically these your civilians dying and the civilians dying, that's going to unfortunately read, uh, feed into more radicalism. This is You are never going to be able to finish this fight if you're only depending on weapons. So if you are fighting an ideology that is so that is a death cult, the only way to oppose it is an ideology focused on life. And I ask you this, have we not recently seen a country with a chant that has life in it? Yeah. What is the opposite? What is the opposite of what Hamas stands for? Yeah, they, that would be a, a cult of life. Or, 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 yes. or people who support <laughs> life, and that's what that's Iranian that that slogan came out in the wake of Masa Amini's um, murder at the hands of the terrorist Republic of Iran, which was uh, Zan Zindagi and uh, Azadi. Azadi, yes, as a freedom, okay. yeah, so yeah. Zan Zindagi Azadi. So, women life, woman life, freedom, woman life, freedom. So, the life in that chant is an is a very purposeful Opposite. decision to put life there because uh -huh. life is a every single one of those words is a response to islam okay woman is a response to islam the freedom uh -huh. is a response to islam but more importantly than all of them the life right. woman life freedom is a response to a death cult that's what that life and woman life freedom represents right